Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to skip reading empty rows to SQL in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can skip reading the empty rows. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Hari Harasundaram and he asked like how we can skip the empty rows in a flat file while loading the file. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got a CSV file buyers.csv and let me try to open this file in a text pad. So if you see it contains person's ID, first name, last name, email, gender and country information and if you go to the end of this particular file so after 1000 rows there are 3 extra rows but the rows are empty. So for example we got the ID here 1001, 1002, 1003 but the data for these particular rows are empty. So what I want is that these particular 3 rows should not be loaded to the SQL server. So let's see how we can do that using SSIS. So let me open the SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today to write the code. And because we are going to load the data from a CSV file to a SQL server table, so we will be using a data flow task. So let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window. And then I can configure the data flow task. Because we want to read the data from a CSV file, so we will be using a flat file source in this particular case. And because we are going to write the data to a SQL server table, so we will be using an OLEDB destination. So let me configure the flat file source here. Click new to create a new flat file connection manager. I will call the connection manager as flat file and I can browse the file. File type is CSV so I will select CSV here. I will select the files buyers.csv and I will click on open. And if you preview the data, so data seems good here but there are extra delimiters in this particular file. So let me go back to the journal and in the text qualifier I need to put a double quote. Now if I preview the data, so now data seems good, I can click OK, OK. So suppose if I directly insert this particular data to the SQL server table, so let me just try to do that first and then I will show you how we can skip loading the empty rows. So let me create a table in the work database, click OK and under data access mode I will select table or view fast load and I will click on new to create a new table. I will call the table as buyers because my CSV file name is also the same. So I can click OK. I can click on mappings to make sure that input columns have been met with the destination column. So this is good. I can click OK. So for example, if now I execute the SSIS package, then 1003 records should be loaded to the SQL server table. So you can see that 1003 records have been loaded. And let me show you the table here and data. So this is my table buyers and let me select the data from here. Let me remove this top clause from here so I can show you the all data. So if we scroll down, so for last three lines the data is empty okay and this data I want not to be loaded to the SQL table and maybe what we can do that either we can ignore loading this data or we can just insert this data into a new CSV file kind of like empty data dot CSV file okay. So both things we can do. So let me just truncate this table for now truncate table buyers okay and now the table is empty and let me stop the execution of the SSIS package and let me just remove this particular link and we need to use the conditional split transformation here so that we can write a case that if the row are empty then we can ignore loading the data so I can connect the flat file source with the conditional split transformation and then I can configure the conditional split transformation so under conditions what we need to do we need to write the first condition that if that if first name equal to blank so if the first name is equal to blank and the second condition will be that if last name double equal to blank and the third condition will be that if email equal to blank and the fourth condition will be that if the gender equal to blank and uh, the fifth condition is if the country equal to blank okay so if everything is equal to blank then we will call this output as empty row okay so this will be called as empty row and if this particular condition will be false it means that there is some data in any of the column then that particular row will be moved to the default output which is the conditional split default output and you can call it as populated data maybe you can call it okay I can click on okay now if I connect the conditional split transformation with the OLEDB destination then I got two outputs empty row and the populated data. So I will select populated data from here. Now if I just execute the SSIS package then it will just load 
the correct data into the SQL Server table. But if you want that the empty row should also be loaded to a CSV file or something or a SQL Server table, then you can do that. So let me just try to write the empty rows to a CSV file as well. So I can just drag and drop the flat file destination into the data flow task and then I can connect the conditional split transformation with the flat file destination. Now let me just configure the flat file destination. Let me make an empty file here and I will call this as empty data dot CSV. Okay. And now let me go back to the SSIS and create a new flat file connection here. I will call the connection manager as empty data and I will browse the file. The file type is CSV so I will select CSV file here and then this is the file empty data that will be overwritten. So I will click on open. Now I want to put the column names in the first data row so I can click on this particular checkbox and if I want the text qualifier as exported so I will click on this one. I will add the text qualifier as well. Now I can click OK and I can click on the mapping. So the mapping seems good here. I can click OK. Now let me execute the SSIS package. Now what should happen that out of 1003 records, 1000 records should be loaded to the SQL Server table and 3 records should be exported to the CSV file. So you can see that clearly that it happened. And if I go back to the SSMS and if I read on the select query, so there should be just 1000 records loaded to the SQL Server table. And if you open the CSV file, empty data.csv file so there should be just three records in this particular file so you can see that we got just three records 1001 1002 1003 okay so this is how you can just ignore loading the empty rows into a sql server table and maybe you can just either just ignore those records just do not load to anything or you can load into any output maybe to a sql server table or to a csv file or maybe to an excel file it's up to you okay so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.